So let's take stock of the Trump presidency and its opposition one month in. Joining us from Boca Grande, Florida, Fox News senior political analyst Britt Hume. Britt, a special privilege for me here on Special Report to be speaking with you. Uh, what, make, what maketh oh, you? Thanks, James. What maketh you one month in of this Trump presidency? Well, I'm not to in any way uh, disparage the difficulties that, that Peter Ducey just reported about about this legislative agenda going forward. I'd have to point out that a, that a, a considerable number of things have already been accomplished uh, by the Trump administration. When I mean, you think of the appointment of Neil Gorsuch, you think of the installation of of uh, two people at education and, and EPA whose very presence are going to make a big difference in the policies and practices of those uh, those agencies. Uh, very controversial. You think of the, of the Dakota Access Pipeline, the Keystone XL Pipeline, which have now been cleared to go after years of con controversy and roadblocks. Um, not, to, you know, not to mention the fact that you have the situation now with, uh, with General Mattis, Vice President Pence, uh, Secretary of State Tillerson in Europe reassuring allies that, uh, that the alliances that have been such a, a bulwark of our foreign policy are, are very much intact as far as the Obama administration is concerned. Is concerned. There's a lot there. Nonetheless, there are legislative hurdles ahead, and they're important. And if, all, if, if Trump, Trump does not come through and the Congress doesn't come through on those, uh, it's going to be problematic. We see these images of town halls playing out across the country where Republican lawmakers are taking some heat from their constituents, reminiscent to some extent of the town hall scenes that we saw play out uh, in 2009, 2010, when Obamacare was first uh, in the works. Uh, you've covered so many presidents and so many Congresses, Britt. Uh, what do you make of the Republican lawmakers, the conference here? So many of these people, most of them never campaigned with this new Republican president. They never endorsed this new Republican president. What kind of working relationship do you observe? Well, it's, uh, I think it is very much a work in progress, but I will say this about the Congress. It reminds me of the way Congress used to be back in the days when I was covering it in the 70s and the 80s, uh, when legislation like major legislation like tax reform and, and re you know, legislation like the repeal and replacement of Obamacare, things of that scale, always ran into difficulties, always ran into divisions and controversy, always took time, a lot of time, uh, to, and there was a lot of horse trading and a lot of politicking that was required to get these things done. So anybody who's complaining about, you know, Re Obamacare not having been repealed and or replaced one month in, I think, is, doesn't understand about how a normal Congress works. We haven't seen a normal Congress in a long time because um, for a long, Barack Obama at first had a Congress completely under his control and then he had a Congress not at all under his control when nothing got done. So this is more like the old days, and it, I think these things are going to take time, and I think it's going to remain to be seen whether the president can be a unifying factor in trying to knock heads in Congress and get Republicans to unify around legislative proposals on both these major matters. Uh, it'll be a test of his presidency to some extent, but I think in the end, whatever they pass, I think he will sign. So, I, you know, that is, the, and I think that is the prospect that has whetted the appetites of Republican leaders like Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan, that if they can get their end, end of the bargain uh, uh, taken care of, that they'll have a president who will accept what they send. And that's what they, they Republicans in Congress, have been waiting for for some time. Britt Hume, we can't wait to welcome you back to the Washington Bureau. We'll see you soon. Thanks, James.